I really enjoy drinking <laughs> a lot. It's a great process, just tasting food and wine together to see, to see when you get a match. You know when, when you're when you little and you have all those uh, arguments with your parents and then at some point they say, oh, if you don't like this place, go. Well, I, I, I went. I got into the wine side of the business by mistake. I originally was working in Germany for HSBC. There's no way I can do that for the rest of my life. So uh, starting to learn quite a lot more about matching Indian food and wine and it slowly dawned on me that actually, hang on, this is something I can actually do. I couldn't have started in, in, in a worse place. Obviously starting as a trainee sommelier in Paris is very close to the special forces in the military. You had to keep your mouth shut and learn as much as possible from the very best, which at the time are uh, over 50 grey hair Frenchmen. I did my wine exams and at the same time was testing out lots of different areas of the industry and jobs. For the last year or so, since I've set my own company, I've got a little part-time wine bar with the street food market, so it couldn't be less traditional really. I originally wanted to become a chef and I went to um, Napa Valley to train as a chef and while I was there I sort of fell into it. We had night classes so I went wine tasting during the day and then classes at night. This profession is becoming more and more accessible to uh, a younger crowd for the simple reason that the wine business is evolving. I think wine's become a lot more of a sort of daily part of our lives. It's not seen as such a special occasion thing. It's much more normal to be into food now and then we've had craft beer and cocktails. So there's been a massive interest and I think especially with young people about where food comes from, where drinks come from. You know, the two things don't have to be mutually exclusive anymore. Indian food and wine generally isn't the number one sort of match or that's the, that's the conception that people have. It is tricky. Basically you taste the wine to start with, you've got to like it I guess. <laughs> um, it's then a question of actually just taste trial and error with different dishes. It's a lot of um, a lot of tasting, like going around and tasting everything, anytime, anywhere, anything anybody ever puts in front of you, you taste it. Yeah, I know what I like. And, uh, and sometimes I have a tasting with uh, 10, 15 different wines and I don't like a, a, a single bottle. The most important question we always ask the guests is what do you not like? You are essentially recommending a wine to a person who will consume a dish. So uh, that person's personal taste and, 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 and preferences and beliefs they have to be taken into account in order to deliver a perfect uh, wine pairing experience. Do not think that by starting to work with wine and by doing a bunch of courses and getting a bunch of qualifications, we are uh, up and ready to get your uh, golden badge and become an sommelier. It takes so much more than that. As with anything, there's only so much theory you can sort of learn, but until you put it to use practically, it's only, only then you really start to sort of understand it. It's a, a lot of dedication. You have to really love it. You, you, you can't be like, well, on my weekends, I don't feel like drinking wine anymore. Every book I have is on wine. Everything I read is about wine. There's no vacation from being a sommelier. And every time on your weekend you go out with your friends, they're always asking you to pick the wine, so there's no getting out of it. The changes that I would have liked to see four or five years ago when I first got into the industry um, was to see more females around and now you really do. It's great how quickly the change is happening. I think it's easy in London, especially in East London, to think that wines really has really come up further than it has. There's lots of cool shops and bars around here, but I think across the board there's still quite a long way to go. There is no space given to a relatively younger crowd, so I would probably plead and recommend wine personalities out there to perhaps give a bit more space to the younger crowds. They won't be disappointed.